The elimination of Columbus Day and the changing it to Indigenous Peoples Day is what LB 848 by Senators Brewer, Lanahan, McAllister, Scheer, and Vargas are proposing in the unicameral. The legacy of Christopher Columbus represents the acknowledgement of his findings of a land that would grow into the United States of America as one nation under God. Those seeking to ban Columbus Day in Nebraska show ignorance of history about Western civilization and the greatness of his discovery. To top this ignorance, LB 937, by Pansing Brook, Brewer, Gregard, and Hunt, want the flag of all nation, Native American nations to be flown over the Capitol building. This is actually an attack on the sovereignty of, the, of our state and country. To set this precedence in the spirit of diversity, anti-discrimination, and fairness is on a slippery slope of political correctness. If this foolishness is permitted, then we need to fly a flag for German, Italian, Jewish, Catholic, atheist, African, Irish, and Spanish descendants, along with a rainbow flag for the gay rights movement. What is the motive behind changing a day designated to honor someone very important in our history and expect us to show reverence to flags dedicated to any ethnicity? Special days are to honor extraordinary accomplishments or heroism, and the flag represents a government whose constitution we acknowledge. Flags are not gold stars on a refrigerator or participation trophies. We do not live under a constitution of indigenous tribes. Why change Columbus Day or fly a flag of a foreign country over our capital? Are they against the Christian influences that Christopher Columbus represented that led to this ending of child sacrifice, cannibalism, and slavery? Could it be they are ashamed of the discovery of America that led to the creation of the most successful free market economy in the world? Is it to renew the anger in order to extract revenge for the success of capitalism? Do they want to promote diversity and the disasters of socialism and tribalism? Is it to renew the victim status that will justify reverse discrimination against anyone who is not a Native American? For these politicians to make Columbus Day a scapegoat speaks volumes about who they are. Their lack of judgment demonstrates a poor understanding of our history and what is really important. I think this herd of senators would be embarrassed to be associated with the slippery slope of populism. It is almost grounds for disqualification from public service as they are not representing the people of our state, exacerbating discrimination and bias that is all too prevalent in society already. Let your senators know that LB 937 and LB 848 is bad legislation and a waste of tax money to, and to entertain such foolish ideas that are contrary to patriotism and our Christian values. We are Nebraskans and Americans first and foremost. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.